Hey y'all, it's your girl Nabby and we are back. As you can see, we are going all around the world, guys. I'm bringing you guys fashion, I'm bringing you guys food, I'm bringing you guys style, I'm bringing you guys everything, man. Music, dancing, like it is lit. We are traveling, guys. We are traveling from our homes. You know what it is, Corona time. But yeah, so for today, I have a fashionista, a fashion guru. As you can see, you know, I tried to glam myself up a bit so I could keep up to her levels because a girl can dress, guys. Like, I'm telling you. So let me let the girl in introduce herself okay welcome back to nyash's channel before we even start before you even do anything before i tell you who i am why i'm here do you see the subscribe button is it still red my question is why subscribe to her channel please like comment subscribe share the video show some love and now you can get to know me hi guys my well my name's Cravy. It's not Cravy. My channel is Cravy. Cray X V. The X is silent. But yeah, you can see that. My name is V. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, guys, so V is from the UK, and you know what it is. She said, if you're new here, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button right over here. Do the right thing, fam. As you can see, my girl V, she's a whole vibe. Like, I totally love her. Oh, my gosh. And basically, she's going to be answering questions for us about fashion in the UK, because that is where she is based at the current moment. So, yeah, let's get into the video. Don't jump right into it because ain't nobody got time for that you know what I'm saying so question one how is the fashion industry in the UK for black females let's hear what my girl has to say I really put the lollipop down I don't actually understand like can you hear what I'm saying okay so one thing I'll say is I feel like a lot like so for example if you're on this platform like YouTube if you do Instagram or this um if you're an influencer a big up you influencer I just feel like brands don't represent you fashion brands don't represent you even makeup brands don't represent you as much as if you're not black so if you're any other so for example if you're white i feel like this represent a lot of white females than the do female um i mean black females um and as well like i'm a plus size female so i just feel like we're not represented that great anyway around the world it is getting a lot better a lot better trust me because like i remember i used to have to like shop in like maternity work <laughs> <laughs> now i'm it, it never used to be it never used to be that great it used to be like really shitty um and it was hard to find clothing as a plus size female but uh, as a black woman because that's why i'm not listen i'm i i keep thinking i'm like so you know shake stain i'm a grown-ass woman um so for black females i just feel like unless you find females on instagram who black females on instagram who can dress and who have the same who have good fashion sense where else am i gonna look damn man it is still pretty deep you know what i'm saying like i just feel like there needs to be more brands that represent like black people in general because a lot of these brands that we shop at are are white people based and you know they have like sizes for white people and stuff and as she mentioned she's like a plus size female so it was harder for her to get clothes back then than it is now so at least they're like doing something but they need to do better they need to do more you know what i'm saying because like I feel like we we still need to be represented across across everything across makeup brands across like I don't know guys like clothes just general clothes sometimes you can't even get like something so simple because the sizes are either like too small or like it just doesn't make sense okay so yeah I feel like brands need to do better in terms of that I mean Fenty Beauty tried y'all like that was that was hot I I still need to get me some Fenty Beauty but like you know what I'm saying those shades were like crazy and that went that went crazy so i'm sure like if someone is to start a, a brand like a proper proper brand let's say for plus size females or whatever like it'll go wild it'll go wild because there's not too many of them at the moment you know what i'm saying so yeah um that is something to consider i mean you know if if you're like in the uk and you're trying to start a business and whatever like just just listen okay listen to these things question number two what are some of the best online shopping platforms you have used if you guys want to feel free to go to my channel i do do hauls for if you're a plus size female uh and the the hauls i've done 
the most like for a fashion what, what, what holes I've done the most that I've, where I shot from the most English it's not my first language but anyway yeah so where I've done my uh, like where I shot from the most is Pretty Little Thing I I used to love Pretty Little Thing I used to love Pretty Little Thing but then I feel like they've gone a bit downhill I don't know if it's just me but I just feel not downhill but I feel like it's a bit hard now to get things that I actually like. So I need to expand my horizons outside of Pro Little Thing. ASOS is great. Um, like, the prices can range from reasonable to, are you fuck? Mm, don't swear. From reasonable to, are you mad? Um, ASOS is good. Boohoo, Boohoo is always a love and hate relate. I'm not sure from Boohoo for a No, I actually a lie. Nah, okay, no. So yeah, Boohoo is always hit and miss because the material on that is just... It's the same with Pretty Little Things. Sometimes the material ain't that great. Um, I've only shot, I've only shot to Fashion Nova once, so I can't give you, like, a great review on that because last time I shot there was, like, two years ago. Whoa! What was it? Okay, hey, so that was the second question, and you heard the girl. Pretty Little Thing, Boohoo, ASOS, you know what it is. Like, they have really, really nice things. Even Fashion Nova, like, oh my gosh. I need to get me some fashion over jeans. Like, can I, I don't know what I should do. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I really need those jeans because have you seen how people be looking at them? Like, it is, it is crazy. It is so crazy. Like, your body literally just looks so good. A, a literally an eight. You know what I'm saying? That is what we're trying to do here. Um, so yeah, that, that was like the second question. Let me just see what the third question was. The third question is cheapest places to shop in the uk let us hear what she says because you know what it is you're not trying to like spend too much money but at the same time you want quality so yeah let's let's hear it cheapest primark um even though i mean i feel like they're like slowly trying to raise the prices up every now and again but primark is still cheap you can find stuff in there i was about to swear again you can find stuff in primark pretty cheap um where else is cheap Pretty little thing, like to be honest, pretty little thing, boohoo. The most of the online places that I shop at are cheap because I'm cheap. I don't like spending ridiculous amounts of money on clothes. The most, I think the only thing I spend money on, like, like more than I, like, the thing that I spend more money on is shoes when it comes to clothing, but I don't want to spend ridiculous amounts of money on clothing. Most of the time I do online shopping, I'm like, okay, so I want a new jacket, I want it to be black. Uh, size UK 18. Uh, okay, sort by low to high. Low to high. And then in my head I think I'm not spending past a, a certain amount of money. Okay, I, I totally agree. Like, I don't like... I actually don't really like go shopping shopping if that makes sense i don't like the whole process like of having to try on clothes and stuff so i'd rather do online shopping where i get the thing if it doesn't fit i take it back otherwise sometimes i end up like buying things that that are like whatever size that i think i am and then i get home and it doesn't fit i'm like you could have just tried it on you know and then i have to take it back it's a process i know but like i really just don't like the whole process of shopping but anyway she is saying that she does not spend much on shopping which which is something like i think i spend more money on my shoes out of my clothes if that makes sense i feel like shoes like represent you more so yeah i'd rather like buy more expensive shoes than clothes so yeah um she said that you can get really cheap stuff at Primark, that is like number one on the list. But otherwise, Pretty Little Thing, Boohoo, the online shopping platforms are still like pretty affordable, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that is what we needed to know. Now the next question is the most expensive places to shop. Let us hear this because you know, it's not everybody who, who's going to go cheap. I mean, some of y'all want that Gucci, some of y'all want that Chanel. So let, let's hear this. Let's hear what's happening. Hold up. I feel like she made a really good point. Like, for us online shoppers, you know what it is. Like, you get to the filters. The first thing you go to is the filters or the sort. And you're like, okay, sort by price. Low to high. Whatever you're looking for, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're not trying to spend that much money unless it's shoes. Like she said as well. Shoes, guys. Shoes are important. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Um, that is that is very important for online shopping. But anyway, let's continue with the video. Expensive places to shop. In all honesty, I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you because I don't shop at expensive places. I'm a cheap woman. 
<laughs> this is so hard for me to swear. I'm really trying not to swear, guys. I'm really trying not to swear. If you do go over to my channel and there's a lot of swearing, I'm, I'm apologizing like now. You said you're not trying to spend that much money on clothes. You want to spend like money on clothes and look good, but like don't don't be breaking your bank for it. No, rather rather shoes, guys. That's all I'm saying because you know what, shoes gonna last you longer and they they just look better. Like shoes complete your whole outfit. <laughs> Says the girl who's not wearing shoes right now. But anyway, yeah, shoes complete your whole outfit. And I just feel like it's it's pointless to like buy super expensive clothes when they're gonna look the same as like something you bought elsewhere, you know? So rather, you know, weigh it out and be like, okay, which one should I get? And you know, just just be logical about it. You don't have to like flex or show off to the world. We actually don't care, hey. We don't care. Like whether you're wearing, I don't know, the most expensive um t-shirt in the world and it's white i don't i don't care i'm also trying not to swear like if you see my my past videos actually i've been trying not to swear so you guys should clap hands for me but anyway you are wearing a plain white tee and i'm wearing a plain white tee but i look better than you and mine is cheaper so you need to weigh it out if maybe if it's like a jacket that you know that okay i can't get this in this quality anywhere else then it's cool like it's all good i understand but like these other things guys don't be so extra about it like please it's it's not necessary literally no one cares so yeah um the next question is uh, let's see have you been to any fashion shows and how was it I've actually never been to a fashion show. Um, I'd love to go though. Let's, okay. <laughs> when I think of fashion shows, even though I know it's not just this, but do you know when you see like fashion on runways which would not be worn anywhere? And I think, okay, yeah, it's a fashion show, but it's more like an this is an art gallery. You're, it's, this is a walking art gallery. Then again, I don't even understand art, so I'm just chatting in a lot now. But like fashion shows where the, the last one I was laughing at was, even though it came out a while ago, but the, the pictures pop, popped up again on Twitter. And it was like the guys walking and they had the women like upside down on them. If I find pictures, I'm going to say insert them because that shit is hilarious and people need to laugh with me but i've not been to a fashion show um i think i'd love to go to oh yeah no i would love to go to one i think i would love to go to one um i feel like i totally agree with like the whole fashion show thing because some of these things i don't know what what channel was that on dstv that used to have like fashion things i don't know if it still exists because it, it looked pretty old we're like um what's her name that baby fat chick was like they and whatnot kimara kimara lee simmons yeah and you know what like those things it's things that you'll never wear in your life like unless you're rihanna listen unless you're rihanna you cannot pull it off like don't even be trying that shit okay so yeah i just feel like fashion shows are like super it's just showing how how creative you are but not necessarily for like things that you can really really wear if that makes sense but i've seen some though like here in sa i've seen um obviously on like instagram and stuff where they actually have proper outfits and like you know the famous designers like her and stuff like that i hope i say that right but anyway um there are some fashion shows that have like really really nice things so yeah if if i could i would also like to go to one like one of these days one of these good ass days you know when when things are happening when life is popping you know what i'm saying <laughs> i need that to happen i need that to happen so yeah one of these days when life is popping i need to go to one of them fashion shows and take them nice ass red carpet pictures oh my gosh those are always so glamorous and everyone looks so good at them like wow but yeah she hasn't been to a fashion show in the uk yet and i also haven't been to one so we can't actually tell you guys how a fashion show is but like from the looks of it it looks it looks like a good time i mean you get i'm pretty sure they serve you champagne like it's a good life there you know what i'm saying so yeah that is basically um it about the fashion shows the next question is, how much do you budget for a decent night out outfit? You know, when you're trying to go out with the girls and you're trying to look good, glitz and glam. So yeah, let's hear what she says. For a decent night out, I, like, I don't really budget. I just look at something and if I like it, I'll get it. But that's a freaking lie. That's a lie. Okay, that's a lie. That's a lie. I don't know why I'm lying to you guys. Like, you've only just met me and I'm out here telling you lies, but at least I'm honest about it. Okay, so for an, it depends on if it's like a special occasion so if it's like a night like i've been planning i'm really excited for for an outfit how much for a decent night out outfit so probably 40 probably 40 
40 and then the shoes 60. I feel sick saying that I'm playing 60 pound right now but I'll wear it again. So yeah for the outfit probably 40 that's the most. I don't think I can go past 40 unless I'm getting married then maybe 50. <laughs> basically a hundred pounds i don't know what the rate is right now but like i will put the the whole conversion here into rands or whatever and i will see if i would actually like spend that much money on an on an adult outfit but like i think i think that's decent you need to spend more money on your shoes than like your clothes like we said so like yeah weigh it out weigh it out and i don't know how much i actually spend on a night out outfit like hmm I've never, I've never like calculated. Obviously, it's not crazy. Like, I don't spend money like that, guys. Yo, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, the next question is: Who has better style, people in the UK or people in the USA? Ha! Uh, controversial, controversial. I feel like everyone has like different opinions about this. But let's hear what V has to say about it. People in the UK or people in the hmm, in the USA? Okay, if you're American, I'm a, I'm gonna apologize now because. So, I have to say UK, UK 100%. I just, I have to. I've seen some American outfits and they're just, they're debatable. Like, you could, someone will be dressing, okay, from head to toe. They'll have a funeral hat, a football jersey, when I say I'm like American football jersey, then cowboy boots. Where exactly are you going? That's probably dramatic, but maybe it's not because some of the american outfits i've seen are crazy and dumb Stu okay i'm just being aggressive now but yeah uk 100 percent. i think uk has better uh fashion wise um america sorry to all the americans that may be watching this but i have to agree um uk's sense of style is just better like the people are just so stylish and like they they know how to dress y'all but i'm not a fashionista i actually can't dress like I can't. I just chuck stuff on and hope for the best. I like outfits that I don't have to put together. For example, this jumpsuit. I was going to say it's a jumpsuit, but I just said that. For example, this is just a jumpsuit, so you know all you have to do is put accessories, slap your face on, shoes, you're good to go. I think she really knows how to dress. If you go on her Instagram, every time, like, ooh, what? wow sis like okay cool like maybe it's just the way she accessorizes because you know what i i actually have like a real real struggle with that i don't i hardly accessorize like today i'm actually wearing these earrings which i think are super heavy by the way but anyway whatever so yeah i hardly accessorize but anyway i think i think it's just how she puts everything together it makes it look so good that's why i say she a fashion guru whether she likes it or not i'm a caller fashion guru you know what i'm saying like v you are a fashion guru okay you are you are on point girl so yeah um go and check out her page and you know the holes that she has done that that will just tell you something guys that will literally just tell you something so yeah i'm putting all that in the description box by the way like you can just find the links down there so you don't have to worry but anyway the last and final question is any fashion tips to give wear what you want like wear what you want even though i said usa's fashion's a bit yeah they wear what they want. I think that's why it's, uh Wear what the hell you want. Style it how you want. Think people wait for stuff to come back in fashion and then they wear it again. If you like it, wear it. Don't think like, oh my God, I can't wear this because it's so old school. Do what you want because the chances are fashion always does a little 360 and it's going to come back. So you could be the person to bring it back in. With that said, I'm so simple. If I'm not going anywhere, if I'm dressing like I'm not dressing up from that end, I'm wearing leggings, trainers. Uh, I hate jeans, so I wear like the stretchy ones if I have to wear jeans. But yeah, I'm, I'm usually leggings and a hoodie in winter, leggings and a t shirt in summer, maybe a denim jacket for a bit of life. The last and final question is What is the first thing you are doing when this pandemic chaos is over? As we are all waiting, you know, like I don't like going out, but after this, I am so going out. Like, it's not even a joke. I am so I'm going, I'm going to Manchester with a couple of my friends, my sister. We're gonna drink, we're gonna eat, we're gonna party, and I can't wait. I just want to party. Like, to be honest, before this pandemic, I started work, Monday to Friday, weekends, what are you doing, V? I'm chilling at home. We're not, are you coming out? No, I can't. I'm tired. I, I ain't doing shit. I used to hate leaving my house. Now, I can't, I just want to do shit. I just want to, oh, again, sorry, please. 
the language, Valerie. Uh, so yeah, um, I just want to do. I want to go to a theme park as well. I, I either want to go to Thor Park or Al Alton Towers, but I want to go to a theme park. And I want to go. And I want to eat out. I'm tired of cooking for myself. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. Guys. Like I said, when this thing ends, I am going. Anyone who says, let's go, I am there. Like, count me in. Don't even ask me. Like, just say, yo, bro, like, get ready. I'll be there in the next 10 minutes. And I am in because I don't, I, like, huh. Wow. You know what? I don't like going out, but wow. Now, now I want to go. Now it's on. Now it's definitely on. So, yeah, that was basically the video, guys. Like, I was just asking V about style and stuff. Let's hear if she still has to say more about, like, style or any anything further. You know what I'm saying at the end of the video? Um, I'm going to insert some clips from some of the hauls I've done. If they interest you, then head over to my channel and you can watch the full videos. If not, I tried. <laughs> anyway... Thank you for watching. Nyasha, thank you for having me on your channel. I appreciate it. You're a real one. Bye. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>